Hey guys, and here we are back with another one. And today here we are with a quick overview on the latest Xiaomi notebook, which is the Notebook Air Pro, if I can say so, just because it has exactly the same specifications as the Notebook Pro, but on the Air form factor, which is 13.3 inches. Now, moving on in terms of the unboxing experience, like the previous models, we will find a power adapter with a detachable USB Type C cable, the usual Chinese documentation, and of course, the really nice looking dark gray Xiaomi notebook air. Now in terms of the specifications it has as I was saying on the intro the same specifications like the Xiaomi notebook pro 15.6 inches and that is the i7-8550U quad core CPU 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of quite fast storage and of course the dedicated NVIDIA MX150. Now we also have the option to open up this machine like we did on the other two and once we open it we will find a M.2 SATA slot open that we can use to expand our storage either for extra data or for a second operating system which is usually what I do and in a few days we will find out if this is an Akintoshable machine or not. Now moving on to the ports and connectivity we will find exactly the same that we see on the previous 13.3 uh, model which is on the left hand side one HDMI output that will go up to 4K at 30 Hz, one USB A 3.0 and one 3.5 audio jack and of course on the right side one USB type C which will be used for charging and data and also one USB type A 3.0 and in terms of size it is exactly the same size as the previous model notebook air the difference here is only in the inside uh, mainly on the cpu in this particular case now in terms of screen resolution keyboard trackpad and so on and so forth it's exactly the same experience that we had on the notebook air previous generation also the fingerprint uh, sensor that we can use to log in and so on and so forth. Now I would say that comparing with the uh, Notebook Pro it's a little bit below, exactly the same as the previous model. The difference is mainly in the insides and in this particular case the CPU itself. And this will give us a performance boost especially compared uh, with the 13 inches but if we compare it with the 15 inches as you guys can see by some images performance will be very very similar if not the same. Now in terms of synthetic benchmarks uh, they will show us especially on Geekbench 4 the CPU score and the OpenCL score which are very close to one another because the CPU is exactly the same and in terms of graphics as we guys can see as well 3d mark score using the skydiver benchmark we will get also close benchmarks the 15 inches was a little bit higher but nothing huge now one of the questions that i get asked a lot is can i use this laptop or these laptops to play games because they have the dedicated uh, gpu nvidia mx150 and the answer is yes actually i'm working on a video doing just a small comparison between uh, these machines so in a few days you will have uh, some more detailed info regarding games but as i was talking i'm sure that you are watching some images on screen i did play around with gas guzzlers which is one of my favorite games and also with rocket league and what i can say is that i had a really pleasant experience which is not surprise uh, to me don't expect to play all the triple a games in full resolution but we can play some games in an acceptable resolution with quality and so on and so forth and with some nice frames per second nonetheless soon enough i will have that video that i was talking about in terms of gaming and in terms of performance what i can say guys is that i will leave a link down below for all the videos that i've done so far for these laptops testing on windows testing on mac os testing battery and so on and so forth i've got already seven or eight videos about them so you will have a better idea idea of what they can do and won't. Nonetheless, I will be uh, doing some more tests on this particular model, one of which will be to install macOS to see how Akintoshable it is, and that's about it. Now, moving on to the conclusion, guys, what I can say is that, as I said in the past, I do believe that price performance and the design and build quality of these laptops is really well achieved. So for anyone looking for a nice laptop at an affordable price, 
any of these will do the trick. Of course, that right now, what I can say is that for someone that wants a smaller uh, laptop like this one right over here, but with the performance of a bigger one, which is the Notebook Pro, then right now we have the choice of getting a small form factor or a bigger form factor with exactly the same type of performance, which is great in my opinion guys this is it hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one